Welcome to this Robot Studio tutorial about the Simic Connection Smart Component. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to connect a PLC simulation in Simit to a Robot Studio simulation. The communication between Robot Studio and Simit is handled by the Simit Connection Smart Component that is included with the Robot Studio installation. To add a Simit Connection Smart Component, go to the Station Logic Design View and select Simit Connection from the PLC Context menu. Robot Studio in Simit communicates through a shared memory which is configured in Simit. After adding a shared memory coupling in Simit, set the shared memory name property. Ensure that signal description and header is checked and that little endian is selected. In Robot Studio, enter the same shared memory name as in Simit. Then configure the symbols to be synchronized between Robot Studio and Simit. The Simit Connection Smart Component recognizes three symbol types based on a naming convention. Robot symbols start with robot, joint value symbols start with joint, and all other symbols are station symbols. Station Symbols handles the connection between the PLC and the sensors and actuators in the Robot Studio simulation. These objects are normally mimicked by smart components in Robot Studio that expose I.O. signals to be connected to the PLC. In this station, we have a box that is moved on a conveyor and three line sensors that detects the position of the box. The movement of the box on the conveyor is implemented using a linear mover smart component. The linear mover has a property speed, an I.O. signal, execute, that we want to control from the PLC simulation in Simit. To control the conveyor from the PLC simulation, we have added two station symbols, conveyor speed and activate conveyor. Later in this tutorial, we will connect these to the linear mover smart component. The line sensors in the station are implemented using three line sensor smart components. Each line sensor has a sensor out digital output signal that goes high when the box passes the sensor. To send the sensor signals to the PLC simulation in Simit, three station symbols have been added. Sensor 1 triggered, sensor 2 triggered, and sensor 3 triggered. The Simic Connection Smart Component can automatically create I.O. signals in Robot Studio from the visualization signals configured in Simit. First, ensure the Simit simulation is running. Then connect the Simic Connection Smart Component to the shared memory using the Connect Context menu action. The station symbols appear as I.O. signals on the Simic Connection Smart Component. The I.O. signals can now be connected to other smart components, such as the linear mover and the line sensors. The second type of symbols are robot symbols. The robot symbols define a contiguous area in the shared memory that should be synchronized with the input or output data of an I.O. device in the robot controller. Robot symbols start with the text robot and contain the robot system name and I.O. device name within square brackets. The whole data block between the robot symbol with the lowest address in the shared memory and the robot symbol with the highest address will be synchronized with the I.O. device data in the robot controller, starting at bit zero in the device mapping. An arbitrary identifier can be added to the end of the robot symbol name, but no automatic mapping is done based on that identifier. A robot symbol will only correspond to a robot I.O. signal if the robot symbol in the shared memory has the exact same size and relative address within the robot symbol block as the I.O. signal has in the device mapping in the robot controller.
In this station, there are three robot I.O. signals. Start job, job, and job done. The robot I.O. signals in this example have been mapped to one robot symbol each. A rapid module in the robot controller uses the I.O. signals. The robot waits for the start job signal to be set by the PLC. Then the job signal is read to find out which job to execute. When the robot has finished executing the ordered job, it will set the job done signal. The third type of symbols are joint value symbols. Joint value symbol names start with joint and contain the robot system name the mechanical unit name, and the axis number within square brackets. The data type of joint value symbol must be real. When a joint is jogged in Robot Studio, the joint value symbol is updated in SIMIT. When using a real PLC simulation, Another coupling would typically be created in SIMIT to the application running the actual PLC simulation. For this tutorial, however, we have implemented the PLC logic simulation in a simple chart within SIMIT. When the box reaches line sensor 2 in front of the robot, the signal sensor 2 triggered is set high. This stops the conveyor by setting Activate Conveyor to Low. And the Start Job signal is sent to the robot. The robot reads the job signal and executes the ordered job. When the robot has finished executing the job, it signals this with the Job Done signal, which starts the conveyor again. When the box reaches Line Sensor 1 or Line Sensor 3, the Sensor 1 triggered or Sensor 3 triggered signals are set high. This inverts the conveyor speed and another robot job is selected. Start the simulation in Robot Studio to see the interaction between the Robot Studio simulation and the PLC simulation in SIMIT.